you ever just get one of those stretches that like sends the soul from your body? You're just after waking up, your joints don't work because you're almost 32 years old and the body is just not willing, but the spirit is strong. Let's look at some dumb memes. It's meme time, it's meme time. Gather all your friends, it's meme time. It's meme time, it's meme time. The only cure for sadness. Minecraft? What even is that? Oh no! What is that? <laughs> what am I looking at right now? What is this? That's stupid! <sighs> great, great meme. Oh my god, your poor dog. That is so unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, I mean, I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> no, I'm not. That was hilarious. <laughs> As someone who's played Minecraft and lost their dog in a stupid mistake, I feel like that's the only way you lose your dogs in that game. No one loses their dog by bringing them into battle and having them die in a valiant effort. No, I brought mine out to look at the, <laughs> the thing I built and they drowned. What's happening? Oh my god, I lost a family today. Damn! This is so cool. Palpy is weak, thank you. God, I love the shading on this. Plus you make me look dope as heck. Look at that hair. Look at that facial expression. Look at those angular lines. God, I'm so attractive in this. <laughs> also, dope hoodie. I'm wearing the black version of it right now. Let's go. Let's go! Look! Thumb hole! That's my proof! <laughs> 167 likes. You guys are better than this. That deserves way more love. Man, zooming in on these is usually even better. Look at all these like little details all over everything. I love the little eye effect. Really, really cool. Jack, wholesome memes and fan art. Fans! Oh, <laughs> for me? You made meme for me? Thank you. It kind of is like that though. I give you memes to cure sadness and you give me happiness to cure sadness. It's a really beneficial symbiotic relationship. We're very synergistic here. Also, this is really cute. I know that this is probably a freeze frame to make him look nice, but that monkey is probably vicious. <laughs> he probably wants to eat your blood. Do you eat blood or drink it? <laughs> Doesn't teeth generally mean get away in monkey? See, that's what I'm saying. He's probably like, thank you for the orange. Now I will burn your entire village. <laughs> Beta gamer, high five. Alpha gamer, nice ass. <laughs> or gentle, polite, lovely person versus absolute creep pervert. High fiving's my thing. I kind of have to do it. If I don't do it, the amount of comments I would have gotten on that video if I... Got that hand and didn't make a high five joke. Everyone would be like, oh, missed opportunity. But I do kind of miss that I, I didn't go for the ass. Look, I was scared. He's terrifying. He has his hand in the air. Of course, I'm going to high five that. <laughs> so Jack is better because he is beta as beta is in is in more in development than alpha. Yeah, they always send out the alpha of a game before they send out the beta. The beta is the more complete version. You're just an incomplete mess. He's not here to defend himself. But screw that. He sucks. S stupid. <laughs> wow, this is ironic. Hard to swallow pills. You want more meme times? Try making actual Jacksepticeye memes instead of reposting or shit posting. And then it was removed by Reddit spam filters. <laughs> it's true though. If you want more meme times, you're gonna have to put more effort into your memes. The amount of times I see stuff from people that it's like a meme from like half a year ago and they're like, well, I just want to be a meme time. And so I'm just making this. It's like a face app or just a Lon McLaughlin joke again. Like, we're past that. Let's forward think here. We need new memes. Get on it. Hot off the presses memes. I'm back to giving you guys basically daily content. It's been an absolute smorgasbord of content and you're not providing any memes from them. What does that say about you? I sense that this meme will result in a lecture by Father Jack. <laughs> Oh, is that obvious called out? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> well done. Well played. Well played. See, it's hard because 
it's hard to quantify like what's good because it's so subjective but I just I don't want the place to devolve into like the same stuff all the time because people are so horny for attention I want it to be a place where people actually want to like make each other laugh and not just go in trying to get into a meme time like if that's why you're making memes just stop that's not the point of this series. I know that's counterintuitive to actually getting more memes for more meme time. But you know what I mean? I hate when people are so desperate for my attention that they just start spamming out absolutely anything. And then we just, we miss any sort of like cohesive theme or any sort of substance to anything. It just becomes the same sort of nonsense over and over again. I think that's why the gap between meme times has started to increase. Because every time I go to the subreddit, it's like, yeah, okay, like, Cool, but it's not like, it's not something that I want to put into a meme time, because it just... It feels so desperate for attention. It feels like I reacted to something in this episode, and then people just go and spam the subreddit with the same jokes, hoping to make it into the next one, which usually isn't going to happen, because we've just moved on from that meme. Here I go lecturing again. But I, I just want to, like, get my thoughts out. Like, I want the subreddit to kind of be like a synopsis for what has happened in the channel that week. That's kind of the way it was in the beginning, because I wanted it to be... If someone hasn't got time to watch the channel all day, every day, because I'm uploading daily, then meme time is kind of a way of being like, well, what did I miss? And then this is sort of like a... Like other people call them Reddit recaps. That's kind of what this is, but I didn't want to just call it the same thing as everything else, so I just came up with a fun title. Like that, and it was kind of derivative of Felix's sort of meme reviews at the time, but meme review is more broad. It's sort of uh, like every sort of meme. Like what's the the hip happen to memes of that time? But it was the same concept of like, what's, what's trending in this community right now? And I guess that does lead to more of the same stuff. I guess it's kind of contradictory in that regard, but that's what makes it hard. And that's why it's sort of difficult to weed through the repetition to get to the good stuff. And that's why I don't have the answers for it either. Am I making any sense whatsoever? Am I contradicting myself? Probably. Netflix, Dwayne Johnson and Ryan Reynolds, Jack. I watched Ryan and The Rock in Red Notice and I thought I'd make this little joke. Uh, uh, am I missing something in this? Like, don't get me wrong. I've met both fantastic people. It was so fun. Ryan Reynolds, one of my favorite people on the planet. And the fact that he called me a good lad. I hope Ireland's proud of him. He's, uh, he's, a, he's a good lad. That's going to sit in my yard forever. But why am I in the middle of this? Did I get between them and Netflix? Are they having fun and I'm not invited? What is the meme here? I don't get the joke. Is it just this big actor made a movie with another big actor for Netflix and nobody brought up a random YouTuber that's done stuff with Ryan? I don't know. I mean, I got almost 3k upvotes, so... Maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe I just don't get it. Maybe there's an inside joke in the community going on where I'm like, Guys, I'm here too. Sort of like the reason we're here. <laughs> but any chance that I get to be in anything with Dwayne Johnson and Ryan Reynolds named alongside it, just sign me up. Yes. And the fact that you put me as Ryan Reynolds, top tier. God, I've never been happier. <laughs> Out of here. <laughs> it's meme time! Oh, those GameCube uh, jokes will never get old. <laughs> that was great. Let's watch it again. Run it back. Fuck out of here! <laughs> oh, remember when I had cardboard cutouts everywhere? Jesus. I had so many of them, too. Should I get more cardboard cutouts? Just not of me. I <laughs> get one of Ryan Reynolds. He'll unfollow me on Twitter for just being so annoying. I have that fear all the time. Ever since he followed me, I keep thinking like, oh, he's, he's gonna unfollow me. Oh, I'm gonna say something that's gonna be stupid. <laughs> that goes for anybody on Twitter, really. Any of the people that I like really respect that follow me. Everybody I don't respect, I don't care. I'm just gonna post. You followed me. <laughs> but whenever it's someone that I respect, I'm like, oh no, I'm sorry. Maybe we should get some cardboard cutouts again. I have a nice background, but it needs to be shit postier. It needs to be memeier. I need something to interact with. Maybe I should go back to doing my stand desk thing as well. That was kind of fun. I'm just I'm too lazy to set up the cables. I don't want to set it up so that when I lift it up, everything falls apart and plugs out. My life is very difficult. If Teardown was in real life. Ah! Karmic retribution! <laughs> <laughs> The 
That is what it is, though. I am ruining people's lives. Like, this thing falling and destroying two buildings at once, everybody that's in here is dead. Whoa! <laughs> he did not think about buildings crashing into other buildings. That's so cool. Do you think that that's what the Transformers are doing? Like the Decepticons are like, whoa, Starscream, you shot the base out of that building and it fell over. That's so dope. I want to see uh, uh, like a super villain movie where the villain is like this. He's like, whoa. Oh, I didn't think that that would happen. I didn't think about the building collapsing and hitting the other building. That's so dope. <laughs> so I have to really be excited about destruction. I can't use this music. <laughs> what? Uh, what were you just watching? <laughs> God, I forgot I did this. What a throwback. <laughs> <laughs> what were you just watching? Oh, that striptease video. Damn! Look at me! Look at me go! Hell yeah! That's hot! So, like, remember when you're watching anime? I could never. I am way too cool for that. But it's like anime so deep, the emotional arcs, the journey that these characters go through, the political intrigue going on in the background. And then that one beach episode that your parents walk in on. <laughs> what were you just watching? It's not like this. I watch it for the plot, I swear. Nice underwear. I let it remind of this <laughs> amazing clip. <laughs> so cringe. Oh my, can we... Have I talked about it before? Can we talk about the teeth glow up? They're so much straighter now. Damn, I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Why does he sound like the screaming goat? I really do, don't I? <laughs> so many people... I, th I think I've said this before as well. So many people think that she said nerd. Like, why are you screaming, nerd? <laughs> She's not saying nerd. It's like, what are you screaming for? Or something like that. I don't know. She didn't call me a nerd. Who would call anyone a nerd in real life? That's like a thing relegated to like Saved by the Bell. <laughs> Looking back at it now, I'm like, man, I am so annoying. This is the worst. I hate any sort of viral video where people bother other people in a disturbing way. Those people were in class, they just wanted to learn. <laughs> I like how, okay. I th I th I've talked about this before, but I'll give a little background on it. This is me in hotel college. This guy, his name is Dylan. He was in on it because I did it once already. I did it once and I messed up the reaction part of it. Or I, I forgot to like turn the phone and look at myself and do that. <laughs> the douchebag face. So I had to do it again. And that's why they were like, what are you screaming for? Like, why are you screaming so much? And then he was trying not to laugh at it. And then the guy in the background talking, his name was Tomas. And he was Polish, and he was in my class, and I don't know what he's talking about, because I don't speak Polish, but any of you speak Polish? Figure out what he's talking about? And then my friends were next to me during this part, like, left and right, and they were just, like, out of frame, like, head down laughing. <sighs> that was me. That, if you wanted to get a summation of what I was like in secondary school, this is it. Not as obnoxious all the time, but I was the class clown. I was the Mr. Funny Haha. -ha. Still somehow did well in my exams. I have no idea how. I barely ever studied for anything, but I have such a weird memory where like random information will stick in my brain where it's enough to give me like passing grades. <laughs> Don't recommend it. Thanks for editing the videos be to be as amazing as they are, Robin. Oh. Behind every successful YouTuber is a hero that makes their videos the best they can be. That's really nice. I I feel like it's due diligence to... I I feel like we're in an era now where people should credit their editors. Their creditors. Ah. <laughs> you should be crediting your editors. They do a lot of work behind the scenes. And a lot of the reason that these videos get made is because of the work that goes into them. Like, let's call a spade a spade. Recording a meme time doesn't take that amount of... That doesn't take a crazy amount of time to do. 
To do a video, like, consistently and record them day after day after day does take a lot of energy and consistency and a lot of, like, mental fortitude to do that, but it takes a lot longer to edit an episode of this than it does to record it. Um, so I feel like crediting editors where credit is due is important, and I feel like I've been crediting editors for a while, but I should also point out in this that it's not just... I think Sive is the only one that edits Felix's videos, but I also have had other people edit videos beyond Robin. Robin's edited the majority of what has gone up on this channel for a very long time. For like five and a half years, we've worked with Robin. I'm very, very appreciative of them. But um, we've had Trey edit some videos recently. Um, that has been amazing, a fantastic editor. We've had Davis edit some videos in the past, we've had Vincent edit some videos, and we've had uh, Dave edit some before two Daves uh, for the meme times. We've had a lot of people come and go, and a lot of people come in like freelance and edit some stuff and come in and out. Lixian is not the only person that edits Mark's videos. Uh, there's like two or three other people, I think. Um, and then KSI, I'm not really sure about, but... There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes and a lot of people who edit a lot of YouTubers videos that sometimes I'll go to a YouTubers videos and I'm like, man, the editing on this is crazy. And I know they don't edit it themselves, but they don't credit the editor as well. And I feel like that's such a shame because I'd like to see who edited it to see like more of their work. Um, so just credit your editors. I think it's important. I think it's nice to do. So shout out editors, everybody out there who edits YouTubers videos. It, it goes a long way. They, even though a lot of the editing is like procured by us and like guided by us, a lot of times I like seeing what editors do in their own style to my content. Because I've been, I've been doing this for a very long time and I get so stuck in my ways of doing like the same things because you get so efficient at it. So having someone new or somebody come in and do like their own editing on what you do can be a big help because it kind of transforms the content and turns it into something that I never thought of and then kind of infers my sort of commentary afterwards. It's very fun, it's a very collaborative process, and I, I like it a lot. I'm just gonna leave it here. <laughs> oh, why does it fit so well? That's so good. I did have a lot of people on Twitter say that I look like Kermit at the time, but Kermit's awesome. You know when I look like Kermit? Mm. Kermit's the best Muppet. Kermit's one of the most iconic people that we will ever know, even though he's a frog, but so good. <laughs> Kermit drinking tea. I, I'll, I'll admit, this is good. I'll allow it. Very good, very good. <laughs> Jack then versus Jack now. Damn, look at that cat, so cool! Not that, I'm not trying to say that, yeah, I look cool as this cat right now, but I've definitely aged a lot better. I look, I look so funky back in the early days. Like, look at this. That is a child. <laughs> no sense of style, just slap on the camera and go. Don't really care about anything. Couldn't grow a beard. Didn't take care of my skin. Didn't take care of my hair. <sighs> take care of yourselves. Goes a long way. They want to know more about me. I know, right? Who'd want to know more about me? I'm just Jacksepticeye. But thank you, guys. <laughs> I'm just Jacksepticeye. Do you want to know more about me? Why were it all like this back in the day? I don't know. <laughs> 600k views, wow. I thought these would be like the videos that people would go back and really seek out. Because some of the older ones, I think that Vine video has like 6 million videos. Videos? <sighs> Jesus. Take care of yourselves, guys. Goes a long way to when you're getting older. Take care of the exterior, but the interior is turning into mushy peas. Yeah, it's crazy how much financial success helps people's physical looks. I wonder where that comes from. I don't like buy a bunch of stuff that makes me look better. Maybe fashion wise. I don't know, because I, I see people say that a lot. I think it just enables you to afford to be more comfortable. Like, I feel like I have more time to take care of myself. I feel like I have less worries as a result of that. So because of that, I just kind of like settle into myself more. Like, if you become financially successful and financially stable, I feel like a lot more other worries go away. Because a lot of people say that thing like, money doesn't buy happiness. And for a long time, I would say the same thing. Like, money, I mean, technically it doesn't, but it definitely goes a long way to helping you afford things to make it more comfortable, where you can allow yourself to explore being happier. 
And it can definitely, like some of the stuff that you wanted as like, oh, it's my dream to do this, my dream to do that, my dream to have this. It definitely allows you to afford to get things like that. So I think it's a bit... I don't want to say that thing like money doesn't buy happiness anymore because I feel like it's a bit tone deaf. Um, but it definitely allows you to explore your happiness easier, I'd say. It enables the freedom more. Because um, there's a lot of places like I can travel to that I always thought was cool and like that makes me happier. But I think the the misconception is that your happiness shouldn't come from external factors and money tends to increase your external things. Like money is a very externally wealthy thing to have, but actual true happiness comes from within and it's not determined by other people. It's not determined by the things you have. It's not even determined by like the company you're in or the things you're doing at that moment. Um, and I watched, I, I think I talked about it in the live stream before. I watched a really good video about like Buddhism that talks about that, that anything that makes you happy externally is a fleeting thing that will eventually change and turn into something else or will go away or something that can't be consistent in your life forever. So when that thing that makes you happy changes, does your happiness change along with it and do you become sadder then? So it's worth exploring your inner happiness and what makes you happy and being happy with yourself and who you are and being comfortable in your own skin. And that leads to more long-term happiness. Because when you figure yourself out and you figure out what makes you happy and figure out your internals more, it makes you more comfortable with everybody else. If you're able to be confident in your own skin and be happy with who you are and what you're doing and working towards that, then dealing with other people is much easier. Dealing with the world is much easier because the world is not a place that's bad inherently and wants to like... The world, the world's not sentient and out to get you, is what I'm trying to say. There are some aspects of the world that are against you, like, systemic factors in in different cultures, but I feel like the world itself is not sentient and aimed at attacking certain people. Um, so just being happier with yourself and more comfortable makes you overcome those obstacles more because you realize that you're more in control of what you're doing right now than you think. I went on a big tangent here, but I feel like this is a lot of stuff that helped me and that comment just kind of got me thinking. So I apologize if this sounds like I'm just coming from a place of like... I, I, I never wanted to seem like I'm talking from a high horse down on people. Um, but I do like to try and share things that made me a little happier. Um, and helped me kind of like discover myself and helped me go from this ratty mess of uncertainty to a more confident, happier person that's able to like just understand themselves more. <laughs> the 28 horsemen of bearded YouTubers. Wow, there are, there, I think there's far, far, far more of us out there. A lot of these are just in like the same space that I am. A lot of them gaming, <laughs> or at least have gaming proponents. Um, but yeah, da looking damn good, lads. I feel like everyone looks better with a beard. <laughs> That's my personal bias speaking, but I, I love a good beard. Notice that you uh, didn't put KSI in there. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> is, he, is he gonna hate me if I say that? Is he gonna yell at me? Is he gonna, is he gonna say something about me that's gonna make me really insecure? <laughs> Sean not swearing to stop getting demonetized. That's how I get paid. People think this channel is for kids and it's because of stuff like that. Me a simple memer wondering if I should write fudge or Pokemon memes. <laughs> I will admit, it's a lot of mixed messages. That's how it feels to make videos on YouTube sometimes. It's a lot of like, can I say this? Can I get away with that? There's some things that I'm worried that I can't even like show a word in text in my video because it might get flagged and it's not even just like demonetized like getting demonetized on YouTube doesn't mean anymore that you're not getting any money from the video or it doesn't even mean like the yellow icon on your videos that's used that used to be what it is but getting demonetized these days usually it's a lot more subtle than that it means will my video get put in YouTube's recommendeds that's where 90% of like if a video gets massive views, a lot of those views are coming from like recommended and suggested from YouTube, putting it on the front page and hitting it into the algorithm and getting like more casual viewers of YouTube to watch it. A lot of you watching this are probably people who go to your subscription feeds and consume content that way. 
That is not how the majority of people watch YouTube. The most people watch YouTube by just going to the homepage and seeing what's up there. If you watch a lot of me, I will get put into your feed there. But if I swear a lot, if I put in like there's certain swear words that I can put in that will immediately get like the actual yellow flag. Um, and then there's other words that I'll say or other terms that I'll say or other things that I'll show that will get way less suggested views. And then people are like, oh, you fell off. You're just blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, I'm just trying to be me. And YouTube's like, we're not putting that up because that's not going to make any money for us. So we can't suggest that to people. And that's how YouTube get around the whole like, oh, we don't demonetize stuff for swearing. Yeah, but you do do something to it. I can tell I've been doing this for a very long time. I know when a video should perform better than it's doing. So I get confused. This is me most times making my videos as well. I'm right there with you. We're one in the same. It's so difficult. <laughs> this nearly gave me a heart attack. Addressing the controversy. People who don't know. People who know. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> yeah, uh, the amount of that and the... I did the video like showing the new top of the morning coffee range and it was like the the sonogram of like oh I got a new baby and people actually thought that Evelyn was pregnant. And I feel like it was pretty obvious like if you look at the picture for more than two seconds it's clearly not a baby but just enough to get people to be like huh? Beautiful. Mm. Yes. Baited. And then all the comments turned into it's truly disgusting that some people would do such a horrible thing or something like that. It's every single comment. Tricked a lot of you though. This will make you be more aware in the future. <clears throat> It'll put you on your uh, put you on your toes. <laughs> Anyone remember this? <laughs> See what I mean? Keep the child alive. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I have no idea what was going on in my head that day. I was like, okay, I need an intro for a video. I don't want to do a regular one, so let's come up with something else. And then I start doing the laugh, 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 as I came in, and then it just snowballed from there. Maybe this is why I got a one star rating on that website. <laughs> it's because it's shit like this. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for me and the memes today. That was good. I like that. I enjoyed that. It's fun. It's nice. It kind of feels like just hanging out with you guys every other time that I do these. Um, kind of like getting a sense where the community's at and just... It's it's nice to kind of like touch base with everybody and have an episode of something that we can interact with each other more commonly. Because let's face it, the YouTube comment system these days kind of sucks. Remember when I used to reply to comments all the time and I used to read them all the time? Now it's just the same stuff over and over and over again. I still appreciate that people comment and watch my stuff, but man, I miss the older type of comment system. I think that's why I go to something like Reddit instead now to kind of like see what people are up to and kind of like check in on the community. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being on the subreddit. If you want to, you can join the subreddit r slash guy. go there, there's like 600,000 people who are joining right now. Can we get it up to a million at some point? Probably, if we keep going. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, leave likes, subscribe, all of that stuff that YouTubers are supposed to say. I'm one of those. But thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.